Okay, we've got three ignition amplifiers. That's the one that came off the car. That's one I had in my spare stash that I'd never actually got around to testing it. Just It turned up on a distributor that I stripped down. And that's the one we bought. So, what I basically do, I've got jump lead going to negative. I've got the uh, positive terminal from the vomiter going to the positive terminal. Sorry, hickety up it is. So we'll try the one that came off the car first of all. So pause, because I can't do it one-ended. So I clamp him in there to make sure he's got a nice earth. And then I connect on and I'm getting 7.9-ish volts. Right, so now we've got the next one. This is one that I um, uh, bought with a second-hand distributor, and I just lobbed it in a box to see if it was going to work. So we'll connect it onto the coil terminal on here. We're getting battery voltage straight through it. Okay, that's the, that's the battery feed. So you'd expect 12 volts to go to that, but this should not have 12 volts. He has. Right, now, we'll check the last one now, which is the brand spanking new one. Distributor doctor, voltage near zero, positive on there. We'll touch the terminal. I'll have to hold it on there. Point 0.6 volts, point zero 0.06 volts, point zero 0.07 volts. So that would appear to be okay. <laughs> Okay, been cranking the engine over uh, clockwise. Got it to the top dead centre mark. It's not quite, it's actually the before top dead centre mark, but it gives me enough room to play and stuck my finger into cylinder plug hole number one. All the plugs are out at the moment. Stuck my finger in there. Um, and now I need to make sure that this oil pump drive goes at the half past nine on the, if you imagine an hour hand, when I look in like this, that thing needs to be pointing at about half past nine. Um, and this is where I use my trusty little oil pump prime tool. It's very useful for this kind of stuff. Um, rotate it around. You can use, I think, something like a 12mm socket on an extension bar will also fit. Ideally if it's six-sided. So if you've got a six-sided 12mm socket, I do think that goes over it as well. I mean, it allows you to rotate it. Um, so don't panic about getting an oil pump drive if you have to reset your oil pump position. Um, right, so let me rotate that. This engine does look quite clean inside, you know. And there you can see. Can you see? You can't see. Let me just uh, get the camera in a better position here. Get the torch over the top. You can see the drive there, the skewed gear, um, off the front of the camshaft. So that's the extension gear that you, you put on there. It is looking quite clean in there, though. Nice. Right, okay. So, before I put the distributor in, um, I need to adjust that gear. And then the other thing I need to do with the distributor is, I will need to work out where number two uh, firing position is. And I know, sorry, number two, because I'm thinking about stags. Number one is around that sort of position. This is the easiest way of describing it. So you've got plug number one. So that pole there, that's plug number one pole there you can see where it goes down and you can see roughly where it hits the distributor body it is about halfway between that screw and the clip okay and because we're before top dead center i'm expecting the rotor to be pointing nearer the screw than the clip so let's pop that over there so first and foremost we need to have roughly in the right sort of position and then we need to rotate it back about that much okay so when you're putting this thing in and it's in the right sort of position generally start where the insulated plate is for the um, ignition module, the pickup module, okay? So that's roughly, and I leave the rotor on at this point because it's a lot easier to see what's going on when you're putting it in. And you know that the rotor, when it goes in and it engages, you know the rotor's in the right place because when, when this thing's in at the um, six or whatever it is, seven degrees before top dead center that I've currently got the crank to, I want the rotor to be somewhere around there. Okay, and it goes in that way round. Okay, first attempt, more or less exactly like that. See, the rotor is pointing nearer the screw. Um, and if I crank the engine to top dead center, I'd expect the rotor tip to be absolutely halfway between the clip there and the screw. And that then is the firing position for number one. Now, what I tend to do is when I'm putting this thing in, is, is I have the the ignition advance module kind of is equidistant between the edge of the water pump 
and the stub for the, uh, the the top hose. You can see you can move it backwards and forwards a certain amount there. Okay, so that's just if it sits halfway between the two, you're not not going to be that far out. We're all plugged back in again. Let's see what happens. Fingers crossed. so damn windy outside um, i've decided to relocate into the barn so i made up a really really simple test rig you kids can do this at home too so we've got a 12 volt car battery um, a 12 volt power supply as long as it's dc will do exactly the same thing all i've done is to put a red clamp on the positive terminal just so i don't fuck it up um unnecessary swearing richard day six of isolation um okay then we've got an earth earth goes straight to the distributor body that's the key thing that needs to be earthed here we've got our little um test rig in here a little um uh, jobby that uh, tells us how big the spark is going to be um, and then we've wired the negative side of the coil over here richard sound like keith floyd now don't i up here richard up here right um if you don't know who keith floyd is i'll look it up he's just outstanding chef dead now unfortunately but just yeah anyway um not pink floyd pink floyd are outstanding as a music band we're digressing richard Negative terminal on the coil goes through to the signal output on the uh, ignition amplifier. And this is the one that... So this distributor... Now, let me go through the circuit, first of all. Let's do one thing at a time. And then I've connected the uh, feed, the 12-volt feed, to the ignition amplifier. So we've got the wires go like that. 12-volt feed goes through to the positive side of the coil, Richard, up here. 12 volts out of the coil, and then on the other side of the 12 volt coil, I've got a blank wire, and I've just touched that onto the battery. So there's my circuit. Now, hopefully, you'll be able to see the spark now. Got him? Nice, big, healthy, hearty, good spark. Now, let's, let's stretch this out now. So let's go up to a centimetre about there plug the circuit back in again connect up to the battery again hearty good spark and out again so it's a centimeter and a half it's not exactly the size but it's not far off it oh it's getting stronger Out to two. Oh, look at that. 